Well, I hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm out there making it a great day. It is almost 80 degrees here in Florida. I'm at Madeira Beach. And you know it's going to be a great day because I found a candy place. And this candy place has been here since 1950. It's called the Candy Kitchen. It's a very small shop, as you can see from behind me across the street. Uh, it is uh, painted up in the uh, candy cane, I guess, uh, peppermint looking uh, candy stripe colors of red and white. But uh, we're going to go in here and check this out. Uh, like I said, this is in Madeira Beach. It is a tourist attraction. They have another, this is the original location. They have another location at Indian Rocks Beach right up the road. Um, not too far up the coastline. I'm going to go check it out as well after I get done checking out this little place here, uh, the original candy kitchen. So uh, let's go browse, check out some old candy. Uh, I hear they have homemade ice cream in here as well. And um, that's coming at you right now. Here on the outside of the candy kitchen, they even have a little little table set up here where you can eat your ice cream. Pretty nice, uh, nice tables here. They just opened. They haven't been open long, um, but they got the old sodas and stuff inside. This is a long poem here. They got set up with a bunch of candy bars. I'm not going to be able to read all this, but this is on the outside on one of the windows here at the candy kitchen, which is a tourist attraction right here in Madeira Beach. Even out here on the other side of the building is a big gigantic lollipop in outside of the window to let you know that uh, they do have that candy. It says right here on the outside homemade fudge and homemade ice cream. That does sound yummy here at the candy kitchen and uh, it's a mouth-watering experience I'm sure. Uh, little logo there. We're gonna go inside and check it out. I am just inside the candy kitchen that they call it here. It's been here at Madeira Beach since 1950 they tell me and it's a small shop but a lot of stuff in here. They have their own homemade homemade ice creams here as well and some of these look pretty fabulous. They have one called the Big Mouth and the Big Mouth looks very good. I, I want one of those I think and even got a bananas frozen bananas on a stick they tell me they make their own whipped cream here at the candy kitchen and their flavor of the day today is butterscotch and cheesecake that does sound interesting the candy kitchen here have their own peanut butter filled it's a peanut butter filled frozen chocolate covered banana uh, it's not just a chocolate covered banana it's peanut butter filled and that does sound good too I haven't had lunch but I would like to have one and this one here is called the big mouth it's an ice cream sandwich on a stick and they even sell retro toys up here on the top. They got harmonicas up here. And remember the Bozo Bop Bag? And up on the walls here at the Candy Kitchen, they have a big collection of the Pez dispensers. There's some probably, maybe some collectible ones there. I'm not sure. And they also have the retro sodas here that you can buy cold, all different kinds. They do have the famous Ale 8, which is made back in Kentucky. The Knee Highs, the Frosty Root Beer brand all kinds of goodness and if you're looking for retro candy they have got it here and they got the Mary Janes they got the old original taffy chews the kits and the old BB bats and the old wax lips they have the wax lips here all different kinds coconut slices uh, charms assorted charms in the roll type candy the squares and they even got Gigi's favorite, the Violets, they have those. And years ago they used to get these, it's called Slapsticks, it's a caramel sucker. They have the mini ones here, and also they have the larger version of the Slapsticks. How many remember the old Slapstick caramel suckers? Uh, hard to find, and you didn't know they still made it, but they do. They have a whole bunch of jawbreakers. They go from a micro jawbreaker to a mini jawbreaker to a small jawbreaker, a medium jawbreaker, and they get larger as you go down. Extra large, double extra large, and triple extra large. I don't think, I don't know who could get that in their mouth. That's 
That's a gigantic jawbreaker. I am in retro candy heaven here, and here is one that you can't find. It used to be everywhere. The old Clark bar. How many remember the Clark bar? I remember they did a uh, dip fudge one and years ago when it was still popular, but now it's hard to find the Clark bar. But they have it here. And they have a good selection of that salt water taffy that you want to get when you come to the beach. They have a caramel apple and a key lime there. The key lime does sound pretty good too. They got some interesting flavors here. Caramel swirl, blueberry muffin, red licorice, apricot. Uh, it goes on and on and on down through there. I have found some interesting items here. Here's a gator chomp. A gator chomp lollipop. What better place in Florida but to have a gator chomp and sucker. And here's one of those things if you've got kids or if you know somebody that has some kids that you want to annoy the parents with, you get them this. Makes noise. And uh, it's a wacky monkey. And uh, you can make the parents a little wacky with the kids clanking on this. And they have a lot of the retro candies also in the jars back here that you can purchase out of. And up here at the top, they have alien pops. There's an alien baby pop. Looks like he's got a pacifier in his mouth, pacifying his time. And if you like licorice, they have a big assortment of licorice here. I, I can't even go over all this. It's all this is licorice, different types. Uh, unbelievable amount of licorice. And they tell me here at the candy kitchen back in the 90s, uh, the shop was laid out a little differently and people could write their names up on the ceiling. So all over the ceiling, even the ceiling fan here has people's names written all over it. Something we usually don't check out is restrooms. and uh, But I was told to check out the restroom here at the candy kitchen and they wouldn't tell me what. It was going to be a surprise and it's a surprise all right all kinds of candy wrappers they have wallpapered this bathroom with candy wrappers how cool is that here is a uh, candy kitchen coffee mug you, you can get here along with t-shirts this place has been here since 1950 it's here in madeira beach and there's another location at indian rocks beach and i think i'm going to drive up there and check that out well, now I have ventured on down to Indian Rocks Beach to uh, the second location of the Candy Kitchen. We're going to go check them out. And I hear there's a third location right on up the street. So, three. Three Candy Kitchens. The original one we looked at first. Now we're going to look at this one. And then we're going to venture on up the road and check out the final Candy Kitchen been around since 1950. Let's go check out some more candy. Well, now I am at Indian Rocks Beach at the other location of the Candy Kitchen, which has been around since 1950. This is a larger shop for sure, and all kinds of retro candies in here. A little bit more to look at than we looked at in the previous shop, the original shop, but they have got it here. Here is their soda machine where you can get the retro sodas and what's really interesting to me is all these bottle caps of the old sodas stuck all over the side of this cooler and yes they do come in the glass bottles and that is the way I used to drink it and the way I like it and uh, they got the frosty root beer here and uh, yeah, my favorite cheer wine. I have found a candy here I hadn't seen in years it's called Zotz. Z-O-T-Z -Z. reminds me of the old, uh, the newer warheads that they sell, but these were around a long time ago, Zots. Anybody out there remember that? I have found something here I've never seen before. Uh, it's Smarties and Cream. Smarties and Cream. One side is Smarties side and the other side is the Cream side. Hmm, that sounds interesting. And how many remember the candy cigarettes and the candy bubblegum packs? And I was just informed that they no longer say cigarettes on the packages. It just says bubble gum and candy sticks. But um, the subtleness of it uh, does look like a cigarette box. And that's how they get away with that to this day. And they are displaying their fudge here too. They got the homemade pralines. That's a southern dish right there. Here I have found Uncle Osgood's microwave popcorn on the cob. And... Uh, what better fun than to put a corn cob in the microwave and let it pop? That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? 
they do have a lot of retro toys here that you can purchase and uh, a lot of old stuff here's one called a rubber band boat that looks like fun in the tub well I have found something I have not seen in a long time that I would love to get this is a spud gun it it shoots potato pellets isn't that cool potato gun shooting potato pellets how many remember their first telephone uh, this is probably what a lot of people's first phone might have been and today kids' first phone is an iPhone but this was one of my first phones they've even got the electronic football baseball and basketball games they have brought those back here's some retro ray gun water squirters now that's pretty cool you don't see that very often do you and they have the amazing live sea monkeys used to get those and drop them in water and uh, pretty interesting stuff and they have the tubes of the plastic bubbles how many remember the plastic bubbles you got the old cat bombs I don't know if anybody's old enough to remember this but uh, it's a little metal thing you put a little uh, cap in it that goes off and it's a cap bomb and you throw it and this is a caps you put it, put inside that and that is some that's some old school stuff right there and those visiting here in Florida uh, you definitely want to go home with some gator poop and maybe some sea turtle poop pelican poop or flamingo poop and those are tasty I am at the third location here of the candy kitchen and back here in the back they have a balloon machine how cool is that? It, you put your money in and it, it will blow you a balloon up. She's making me a balloon here. And it's going to blow a balloon up here with a little smiley face. And how often do you see a popcorn machine that will make you fresh air flavored popcorn by just putting in some money and there's a cup back here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's only a dollar. And way up here on the top of these machines is a gigantic sock monkey. And I remember my grandmother used to make the sock monkeys. That's pretty pretty cool. This is a very large shop here at the Candy Kitchen. Uh, and they have a bar here made out of the retro, the old bottle caps. And we've seen bottle caps at the other store. And they have did a very nice job of this. And they even got some old etch sketches here that you can play with while you're eating your candy or your homemade ice cream. This is some pretty large Twizzlers here I've found. I've, I've seen Twizzlers in my day, but these are extra long. Twizzlers. They're much more longer than 12 inches on a ruler. I, I'm not sure exactly how long those are. And they also have the Obscure and the Strange. Here they got some Edgar Allan Poe tattoos. Oh my goodness. And uh, some bacon toothpicks and uh, a little scream bandages. Some mustache bandages. And uh, even a public toilet survival kit. They have some little kids cars up here that they have for sale. Those are kind of some retro stuff up here. Uh, if you got some little kids, that would be pretty cool. There's a, those are pretty classic. They have the decade boxes here. The other one had the decade bags, but here they have it in the boxes. And uh, what a nice gift that would be. And they even have a retro bubblegum machine here in this shop and how many remember growing up going to the barber shop or the drug store and seeing one of these I have found everybody remember Bosco syrup for the milk they have a Bosco chocolate bar here wow how cool is that uh, since 1928 this is definitely a big wonderland of candy here and uh, you're probably tired of looking at candy by now but definitely come check out the candy kitchen all three locations uh, they're all fabulous uh, and uh, they have some fabulous ice cream, handmade, homemade fudge, and all kinds of retro candy. Well, this was my third stop at the third candy kitchen here in, uh, now I'm in, um, um, what do you call it, the Indian Rocks Beach. And the lady in here was super nice. Uh, you def definitely want to come and check out the candy kitchen. They've been in business since, since 1950. And, um, you definitely want to check them out next time you're in town. Uh, a lot of retro candy in there. They make their own ice cream and their own fudge. This place here had a balloon machine and a popcorn machine. I'd never seen that before. Uh, learned a lot of stuff today and found some interesting items. Uh, definitely check it out next time you're in town. Um, link is going to be in the description. Um, 
appreciate all you subscribers out there subscribing. Keep hitting that subscribe button and check out our Spreadshirt shop. Uh, there's a lot going on. I uh, got a lot more places to cover. Hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm enjoying enjoying the day. Uh, I've talked to this lady in here quite a long time and now I'm going to go get me some lunch. So uh, remember to go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.